It was just a makeup date from the rained out May 27th game, but the way Jim Leland paraded around the field while arguing a call, you might have thought that the whole season was on the line. Happened in the seventh inning, first base umpire Ed Rompuano at first calls Andy Dirk safe, and then he's going to call him out. Leland not happy with it at all. He actually reenacted the play in a solo show, that mockery getting him tossed, but not before he let the entire crew know about it. To the actual baseball game tied at two in the eighth, Johnny Peralta drops one past Jose Bautista in right field. Austin Jackson comes all the way in from second. It was 3-2 Tigers. Peralta in safely with a triple. Ryan Rayburn then with runners at the corner beats out a double play bid, allowing Peralta to come home. 4-2 Tigers then enter Jose Valverde. Came in in the ninth, got a little shaky, but he keeps the season perfect. 18 for 18 on the saves. 4-2 Tigers is the final. They win the season series against the Blue Jays. Whitecaps back at home for the first time the second half of the Midwest League season, taking on the Silver Hawks. The game was scoreless in the seventh when Jeff Rowland blooped one into right field. Ryan Ham rounds third. Check out the play at the plate. He's going to plow into the catcher, knock the ball loose. It was 1-0 caps. The next batter, Luis Sanz, singles one to left. Look at Whitecaps manager Ernie Young waving Jeff Rowland not so fast in from second. He's also going to have a play at the plate. He scores 2-0 caps. Story of the day, though, was Kevin Eichhorn throwing a great game. Gave up just five hits over eight scoreless innings. Struck out five. But the bullpen couldn't hang on. Caps give up two in the ninth, two then in the 11th. They drop the game 4-2 to the Silverhawks. Well, we'd grown so accustomed to the Williams sisters playing each other in the final round at the Wimbledon, hadn't we? Four times in the last nine years they'd met. Today, for the first time in five years, both of them were beat. Serena, the two-time defending champion at Wimbledon, dropped straight sets 6-3, 7-6. Venus, her sister, a five-time champ on the English grass, also dropping straight sets 6-2, 6-3. It'll be the first time a Williams sister doesn't appear in the Wimbledon final since 2006. On the men's side, no real surprise. Is Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and Roger Federer all advancing. Marty Fish, the American for the first time in nine Wimbledon appearances, advances to the quarterfinals. He is the last American left in the tournament. And former Michigan State basketball standout and NBA All-Star Steve Smith back in town today, bringing the crew with him. Drew Neitzel, Greg Kelso, Jeff Smoker, and even Tom Izzo joining in at Egypt Valley Country Club for his charity golf outing. Rain couldn't slow down the 13th Annual Classic, which over the years has raised around $700,000 for the charities in West Michigan. Sibley Elementary seeing some of that in their new library. Smith, happy with where things are at right now. Because everything has been ran so smoothly, everything's works out so well. Um, even the weather uh, has been cooperating for the last 13 years. And just great people, great fun, great camaraderie. And you know, the best of all, we get a chance to raise some money for local charities. That guy's class. He really is. He comes Absolutely. back, and I think he keeps getting bigger every mm -hmm. year. It really does. That's a lot of money yeah. going to the charities. Thanks, Casey, Casey. Thank you. We'll be right back. Now, most of these will stay north of I-96 tonight. Just a brief shower possible. Eight-day forecast. Dry after this, though. Opening up the door to high pressure. Eventually, warmer readings will move in by Friday. 90 degrees and humid. Wow. There's summer for you. <laughs> nice holiday weekend, it looks like. Yeah, too. great timing on that. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.